The year is 1999, and unidentified flying objects have started appearing with disturbing regularity in the night skies. The reports of violent human abductions and horrific experimentation strike terror into the hearts of millions as documented cases of human abductions by UFOs become commonplace. The mass public hysteria has only served to expose Earth's impotence against a vastly superior technology. In response, world governments step up their military readiness and there is a general news blackout in most of the affected countries. Scientists try to make contact with the aliens, but there is no substantial response. On December 11, 1998, representatives from the world's most economically powerful countries gathered in secret in Geneva. After much debate, the decision was made to establish a covert independent body to combat, investigate, and defeat the alien threat. This organization would be equipped with the world's finest pilots, soldiers, scientists, and engineers working together as one multinational force. This organization was named the Extraterrestrial Combat Unit, or in short, XCOM. Hi guys, welcome to XCOM UFO Defense. This is Microprose's 1994 release, and for me one of the best games of all time. And what we're using today actually is a community implementation called OpenXCOM. OpenXCOM is a, um, an open source version of the original game, so it's, it's not exactly the same as XCOM, but it's, um, it's close. It's, it's a close approximation with some enhancements as well. And um, one of the options that it has is to add mods. So um, hard mode expansion is basically um, a re-envisioning of the superhuman uh, difficulty mode. So we're going to go through a, a playthrough of this. And I've tested it a little bit. Like I played the first few missions and found it to be, you know, very, very hard as, as you'd hope. So um, yeah, if you're a fan of this game, this should be an interesting take on, on superhuman. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. We're going to start, um, you know, I typically start in Europe because, you, you know, canonically you get the best coverage of, um, of countries in Europe, but, um, you know, there's a t strong temptation to start in Canada, but, uh, I think what we'll do today is, um, because of the difficulty level of this, I think we're going to do what I always do, which is I start, I actually start in the Black Sea, um, right around Sevastopol. Let's put a base in there. Call this Black Sea. And let's get in there, guys. So, yeah, you know, different from original XCOM, basically it's a mod that allows you to start with a slightly better base configuration, slightly more defendable base configuration. Um, but yeah, you know, the aliens can come in through the, the uh, hangars and the access lift, and then we're blocking them with our general stores in our living quarters. So well, this will become an insane combat zone in here um, if we get attacked, and we probably will. So... Uh, the first thing to do right off the bat, guys, is to go and sell it. Let's say, let's unload all the stuff from the craft we don't want and sell it. So dump all the rifles, all the pistols. Um, we're going to want the shotguns. Add all, you know, put all the shotguns on board, all the shotgun shells. You know what? I think I'm going to dump all the sniper rifles too. Heavy cannons can go. Keep the auto cannon for now. Um, 40 millimeter grenade launcher. This is a new weapon that's been added by the mod, and it's excellent and almost overpowered, but given the difficulty level we're dealing with, I think it's okay, but you'll see it's awesome. Um, get rid of the smoke grenade, get rid of the incendiary, get rid of the rocket, too heavy, and um, toss in tons of grenades. So with any you know superhuman playthrough, the early game is all about grenades. So we're gonna really, really go deep on the grenades and we'll all bring electro flares. So that's a pretty good, you know, um, We've got eight people on board, so we got to go. Let's sell a bunch of stuff. Um, get rid of all the pistols, pistol clips, rifles, rifle clips. I'm gonna free up store space because early on you're kind of short on store space. Extra aircraft canyon, don't want that. Um, sniper rifle, let's just get rid of it. Heavy cannon, auto cannon will keep. Uh, get rid of the incendiary rounds, get rid of the smoke rounds, get rid of the rocket launcher and all its rounds. We're going to be a little light on gear at the very beginning, but the thing is that um, incendiary grenades, I don't even know what those are for, but I'm going to drop them. Yeah, you'll see that, you know, we rely heavily on grenades in the beginning, so. Actually, we should check our interceptors. One of them has an avalanche, one stingray, and the other one has stingray and a cannon. Let's get rid of that cannon. And the rounds for it. Garbage. Um, one thing you can do, actually, which is kind of cool, is turn your... your you start with two tanks. One of them's a cannon tank. That's garbage, but it allows us to convert it to a rocket tank, you know, with our uh, engineers. So that's actually a new feature. 
uh, modded in. Okay, so we let's let's buy some stuff now. So we'll go ahead and buy. I'm gonna buy like eight, ten more shotguns and a bunch of shotgun rounds. Um, the auto cannon. Okay, so yeah, with the auto cannon, you don't start with high explosive shells. You have to research those. So we will do that. Um, we're gonna want a lot more high explosive uh, 40 millimeters and um, a whole bunch more grenades. A whole bunch more proximity grenades. And, you know, toss in a med pack, bunch of electro flares, get some more um, armored vests. And let's buy two more avalanche launchers, bunch of avalanche missiles. Okay, that's it for store space. Let's sell the rest of the stingrays. Ah, we'll keep them with the first few fights. Let's apply research. So we're gonna start researching uh, I guess explosive ammo is first. And let's buy a bunch of, let's buy 10 more scientists, a bunch of soldiers, 10 more soldiers. Okay. And let's build some facilities too. So let's build a large radar right away. Build another general stores. Actually, I'm gonna alternate these so that we have different spawn locations. Okay, so that's, that's that, that's good news. And let's make sure everybody's got armor on. That's something I always forget to do. Armored vest for everybody. So that's a new addition to um, to OpenXCOM. Maybe this mod specifically. So hard mode is basically a, a mega mod. Yeah, in the early in the original game, you couldn't start with armor. You had to, do, which doesn't make sense. They should start with some kind of vest. It is 1999 after all. Okay, we'll bring the tank rocket launcher, and I guess we'll bring the extra auto cannon just because because. Yeah, we've got all the grenade launchers, that's good. All right, okay, why do I have those incendiary grenades? Let's just get rid of them. Clear out our inventory bit. Good. Hey guys, wait for first contact. We're not doing a night mission straight off the bat. Just not happening. Okay, let's engage. So the problem too is they, oh, this is very small. Yeah, catching this thing is gonna be hard. Oh, destroyed. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, that's done. Good. There's nothing else our engineers can do. Okay, everything just arrived. So let's go um, load up the Sky Ranger more properly this time. You know what? I'm going to bring three grenade launchers. And yeah, six rounds a piece. That sounds about right. One auto cannon. So how many soldiers do I have? I'm going to end up having 13 soldiers. So that's three grenade launchers. I'm going to have two auto cannons. You know what, I think I might just do the one auto cannon. So that's going to be nine shotguns and 18 rounds for those. And if we have 13 soldiers, we're going to at least 26 grenades, probably more. I don't know, a bunch more. Let's bring, yeah, each, everybody can have two. And 13 soldiers, each one gets an electro flare. You know, okay. Yeah, good to have electro flares. You never know when you're going to need them. Okay, let's get, let's sell the 40 millimeter incendiary. Just nobody needs that kind of thing. Tendary is just, I don't have the time for it. It's too dangerous to use it. And let's just check our soldiers are, you know, 48 hours out. Oh. Let's hope we don't, well, we'll get a mission in between. It sounds like we probably will. Avalanche, okay, let's equip that out. So this is always nice when you get double avalanche. There's no reason to have the stingray. I mean, it might be a bit cheaper, but the standoff range is everything. Get rid of all the stingray stuff. So clear out some space. Oh, why am I carrying that? Get rid of that stuff too. Let's buy a few tank rockets. We may end up needing a few. Let's buy a bunch of avalanche missiles. Yeah, that's good. So we're now to 600k. Can we purchase any more scientists? You know what? Let's just buy two more soldiers. There come our soldiers, guys, and our scientists. Excellent. But the rest on explosive ammo. And let's equip up um, a few more soldiers. That's it, 14, okay. And can we do armored vests? Yes, we've got a bunch. Excellent, guys. So this is looking good. Before our first mission, we have a full full complement here. And actually, you know what? Let's make a new save, because I I am going to be saving. Um, how do we do this new save? So this is going to be... Um, yeah. So we'll do this. I, because it's a mod, I've noticed it's not perfect. There's some bugs. So we're going to have to do saving, but we're going to try to take losses, right? Um, you know, I don't think we're going to win this game. I think they're going to wipe us out. 
And, you know, that's kind of fun, right? So, plus, the game's so long, I don't know if I want to go through an entire playthrough, but we'll see. Um, probably going to get wiped, so I'm going to take losses. Oh, there we go, explosive ammo, nice. So, our advanced infantry weapons, the heavy cannon and the auto cannon, can now also fire explosive rounds, which do high explosive damage. We have supplied our main weapon contractor with the plans and the schematics to make this kind of ammo. Cool. So, that means we can buy it. Let's allocate research. Um, this is cool. Support drones are like... They're like um, remotely piloted vehicles, like mini v mini tanks, basically. I think they're much better than the actual tank because they only take up one square. Again, a modded feature. Um, so what do we just get? We got explosive ammo, so let's go purchase some. Oh, I mean, maybe this arrives before our mission. Buy a bunch of... Um, oh, no, not heavy cannon, sorry. Auto cannon. Um, yeah, 10. Okay. That's all, though. That You know, that just enables the auto cannon. So... And the autocannon is debatable um, as a weapon, given the, the 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Um, the one thing with the 40 millimeters, it's got oh, it came. So the 40 millimeters got an arc to it, so it's really effective. Um, but indoors, like in a base or something, it's not. Okay, so there we'll bring two autocannons, four rounds. We'll get rid of all the AP ammo because it's just taking up store space, and we'll never we never want to use it. Okay. So this is actually a pretty good start. I mean, it's weird that we haven't encountered a UFO yet, like a small UFO. Um, and what you'll see is that early in this game, there's a scripted event. General stores is complete. Um, hmm. What do we need first? General stores. We probably need. We probably need a general stores first again. So let's do that again. And days. We're just building up our living quarters and our general stores like epically so that we can as quickly as possible push to get uh, two science labs fully operational. Okay, small on the ground. Here it is, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, because we have a tank on board. That's why. Okay. Yeah, so I'm carrying more, more weaponry than we need to. Okay, here we go, guys. First mission. Ground assault. Okay, so let's see what we got. Get these guys loaded out. So starting with a Grenadier right out front. I don't know how I feel about. Can be good though. He doesn't need that. And let's get him to drop a smoke grenade. He's not gonna need smoke. I do like giving him a one of these uh, primed. So yeah, it's another thing. I, I I can't remember now actually in the in the regular game if you can prime grenades on the craft, but it's sweet. Um, here we go. These guys need shotguns. Everybody's a rookie, so no big deal either way. He's going to be overweight. That's the only thing. Everybody starts weak, right? So, yeah, let's get some of these going. So it's a landed craft. I mean, I, I said I didn't want to do this, but wait, we have three of these? Okay. All right. Well, I better get some, take one back from him, one back from him make it even okay I don't know why I've got all these the smoke I don't need that many smoke grenades we should take some off they're wasting craft space but everybody starts with a prime grenade which is super dangerous because um, you know as soon as one of them dies he takes out everybody around him but it's just like you know we're gonna die anyway so it's sort of like we might as well might as well go violently Bring all these um, med kits because we're going to need them. Okay, that looks pretty good, guys. Let's get in there. This guy, he doesn't need that because he's a high explosive man. We're pretty well set up. Oh, guys. So here we are. Heavily built up area. This is bad. This is a very bad first mission. Craft right behind there. Okay. He got off his three rounds at me. Should be able to take him out. Let's drop this right now. Smoke grenade. Okay, let's see if we can't shut this guy down with the, the high explosive cannon. That's yeah, not going to do it. Um, let's pull back here. Somebody else is coming out to give it a shot. Would just like to put this guy down. Oh, that didn't work. See, he's overweight. I should have looked at this. 
Fortunately, everybody's starting so far back that... Okay, we've got another heavy can auto cannon. Let's use it. Do this. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now, one thing that's cool is I do have alien bleeding on. I should should have taken you guys through the mods I have on. Maybe we'll do that if we survive this, but... Um, yeah, I've got alien bleeding on, which is it's amazing. I mean, it's 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 reasonable. Like you shoot them, you blow them up, and they're not dead. They will bleed out. So, which they it, they deserve to. You know, it's only fair. Okay, let's spot one more here, probably. But oh, there we go on the roof, sneaky. That's bad, guys. Bad is what that is. You can't make the shot. Let's blow the house up anyway. Look at how many shots he had. Whoa, I might have damaged one of them. Um, I think we gotta we gotta do this. Just too too dangerous otherwise. It's not working out for me here. Bad. That's what that is. Oh, it's so bad is what that is. Utterly wasted. So those guys are going to throw a grenade down and it's going to be over. Can I come down to here? 23, 22, go. Not enough timing. It's, it's, so, it's so bad is what that is. Well, that's it, guys. You know, that's it for our first mission. It's, um, it's going to be a bloodbath here. In just a second, you're going to see... Utter destruction. Oh, that was really lucky, guys. Okay, let's try to reveal them. So you'll notice it starts with floaters. It doesn't start with sectoids, which is a change in heart. Oh, that was injured. Good shot. Fatal wound. Um, let's try to get a shot off with him. This is just the worst spot. You can't shoot because of the tank? Okay. One and two. They're both there. Okay. Well, uh, let's get one off of the tank before he dies. A fire. It's just like... It's this crazy condensed area. Okay, let's make the kill with this guy if we can. That's what I'm talking about, right? For, um... For insane punishing um, damage. What's he got? He's got this. He's not the greatest guy in the world to do the heal, but can't do it till next turn anyway. I like dropping these guys. Uh, now I'm thinking. So one of the things you got to think about is when you're going crazy with your um, high explosives is you want the bodies, right? We need the bodies. Um, So I'm going to take some shotgun shots at this guy and we're going to try to take him out because we need the money. So badly, guys. It's a bad first mission. It's a, it's a dangerous, horrible first mission to run into these buildings like this. It's not good is what, is what that is. Last chance. This guy can't even do it. He can't even. He can't even get a shot off. So forget it. Um, it's coming down to this guy. Maybe he can do it. Nope. Nope. This guy was injured. All right, tank. It's your shot. Do it. Take the whole area. Yeah. So we lost all the bodies, but you had to. I mean, it was that, or or we lose our guys. So push ahead a little bit with people that have some leftover. Uh, XCOM guys, original XCOM. I mean, you know, new XCOM is punishing and horrible, but the original XCOM, you know, it's on a much worse level. It, it's it's much more savage. Here it comes. Wait for it. Somebody's gonna die. Oh, that was a miracle. 
Okay, healed up this guy, that's good. Balzac, whatever his name is. I don't even bother with their names initially, because they're all going to die, so... There's no point in really getting it attached, you know? Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. So, a ton of stuff came in there. Oh my gosh, three. Okay, let's see if we can't... See, and these buildings are the ultimate cover for them. Okay. Oh. I might be able to throw over this building if I'm really lucky. Let's see. Yes. Okay. I should have thrown it right on his feet. What was I thinking? But anyway, everybody that's got a grenade is going to throw one now. Gotta blow all these guys up. No, that's not going to work. Not going to work. Oh, that one on the roof. I think. Or second floor. Shucks. We're just gonna keep throwing them. Okay, this, now here, let's see what we can get in terms of an arcing shot with his, um, with this. I don't think we can do it, but, oh. That's what I'm talking about. And we blew up our own grenade, which is unfortunate. Maybe we can, yeah. Oh. That guy's got power, I'm telling you. Um, do we wanna get that guy? Maybe I can do it from this angle. That's all about the grenades. Not gonna do it. Yeah, wouldn't be prudent. Okay. So. Hmm. Tank took a beating. I'd love to get a second uh, proximity fuse grenade. These are proximity mines. I'd love to get a second one on in on there, but I think this is going to have to wait till next turn. Like, I don't really see two ways about it. Pull out. And, uh, oh, maybe this guy can do it, actually. Interesting. Like it did some. It might have done some damage to him at least. We'll pull up a little bit here. Let's see if we can't uh, get ourselves kind of in a slightly better position for next turn. Mm. It's just bad news all around. Yeah, let's go for this old move. But I want to pull him around so he can shoot up at the craft. And Rahul, I don't know Rahul. I don't know if you're gonna make it. Balzac's not doing well. Let's see what we got. This guy. This guy's the man. Let's do another one of those. This is why we have three grenadiers. To just pump rounds. Yes. And the proximity mine persists. Excellent. Okay, let's do this. Oh, he took it. These guys are tough. Oh, he didn't take that one. There we go. I'm talking about. Nice. All right. Push in. Somebody came out the front door. This guy didn't see him yet. Oh, oh my gosh, in there. It's a bad angle. See, these buildings are a curse. Yeah, I can't, can't shoot at it anyway. Hmm. There's like no good angle on that thing. Okay, what I'm suggesting is we do this. Oh, that was dumb. No, not gonna do it. Um, there's no good angle. I don't know if that's one that woke up or what, but. What's up? Okay, the top floor is blown out. Maybe I can do this. 43, it's a 40. No, the line of fire. Okay, I just blew up bodies. That was a waste right there. But it's survival. I mean, in the beginning, it's nice if you get bodies, but you can't really, like, stress out about it if you don't. You're, you're just going to have to take what you can get. Yeah, just shell the place, because these guys are better than us, you know? Can this guy do it? Let's see if he can throw throw the grenade. No. Yeah, you got one in there, but it's it's not going to... It's probably not going to kill him. Anybody have a proximity mine? Because I ah, no. We need one on the front door of the craft. Let's let's pull in here. He's got one. He can't do it though. He can't he can't do it. He got shot at by somebody from the front of the craft. It would be great if Rahul could put one out there. Let's see, can he do it? He can't. 
Oh, come on, man. Come on, Rahul, you can do it. No, I can't do it. Disappointed in you, Rahul. Uh, um, yeah, you reload. I mean, I guess we could just keep trying to bash through this building here. Busting the roof in, but not doing as much good. Okay, and everybody else has got to kind of wait. Let's see. Nobody else on the crap. So it's just bad news baseball for us. We're going to have to wait it out. Pull in here. Do this. Well, at least nobody died. Whoa. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that's a so that's a new weapon. We have shotguns, but they have shotguns. Okay, excellent. Good placement. Um let's put some rounds in these guys. So the shotgun's nice. It's it definitely you put a lot of rounds down range. Yeah, okay, that's risky. If I blow them up, we lose everything. But it, you know, we're kind of we're in that business right now of kind of blowing everything up. I think I can prop. Oh. One of these guys. Rahul, this is your moment. Do this. Out of range. So Rahul is not very strong, unfortunately. And it partly, probably because he's over, overloaded. This is just such bad placement. Okay, these guys can do it. They can they can hit him from here, but. Destroying a lot of kit. But aim shot. Ah, oh, it's a little risky. I could hit that guy. Let's try doing this. Maybe I can put it here. I don't know where that went. That's the worst part when you when you throw a proximity mine into the unknown. Okay, what about this? One of those. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so let's leave the tank. We didn't. Oh yeah, we got both of them. Good. Okay, let's pull in our on our mortars. We're gonna keep back here. He's been healed. Yeah. This guy, scary. He's got to get out. Do something useful for us. Let's pull in Rahul. And Seppi is gonna chill. Okay, let's let's pull another shotgun man in. Here. Two shotgun man. One's a woman, I think. A little hard to tell under all the body armor. Okay, yeah, and we'll leave the you know what? Actually, let's pull another artillery piece back this way so we can start arcing stuff up at the ship. These two guys are both artillery. Hey, tell you what, we got smoke, so let's let's just move out. We might as well move out away from the ship. Artillery group there, and this is shotgun man. Okay. Oh gosh, he got a shot off on us. Okay, it looks like they're in here, like they're in and about. The okay. So let's try artillery first. I'm a big fan of artillery. He's flying, but it's not going to stop him from getting. 40 millimeter in the face. Oh, one popped out. That's good. This is bait for this guy. Let's put a 44 percenter in. He took it. Bold. If I step out there, I might die. Let's do the other artillery piece. 39 percenter, go fire. Wow, this is a tough one. Took two explosive shots. I thought I had a third artillery piece. You know, can this guy throw up to here? No. Rahul, I know you can't pull it off. This is my third. I got him stuck. He's not going to be useful there. Maybe I can go here. 30, 29. Let's do it. That was close. Almost injured ourselves there. Well, I guess we're slightly better popping out here than we are. Okay, I can throw this. And still have enough to pull back. Bleed that guy for a round. Let's see what happens. Let's pull up to here. Eyeball around the corner. Okay, clear. And we'll pull this thing back a touch. Let that bomb go off. Oh, he didn't prime that one. Oh, pretty sure I threw an unprimed grenade somehow. Ah, oh, dear. One of these guys has. This guy's got a prime proximity fuse mine. Let's let's drop it out there. 13 okay right that's more like it unfortunately there's another one in here somewhere that one of these guys is going to step on okay we'll go around back and make sure this is clear can't be but 
would be cool if it was. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I would have probably seen somebody come out this building if it was occupied. Okay, let's reload. Okay, mortars are mortars are full. Good. Let's pull Rahul up. Not really a safe spot for him. Okay, let's work Rahul up this side. He's kind of exposed, but these two guys have low movement points. So they're gonna have to drop everything and go in light. Yeah, now watch that guy's not gonna come back out because he kind of like implicitly knows that there's a. Okay, let's drop this stuff. Up the proximity grenade. Oh god. Drop some stuff so that we're lighter because he's just too overweight to be to be doing this. We're just gonna do a holding pattern turn and hopefully that mine goes off. I could use the tank to set up the other proximity mine, wherever it is. I fear that it's like in here. It probably is. Okay, that being said, let's pull back then, because we don't know, so come around. We should be coming around anyway. This is a bit much better approach to the craft. In fact, this guy as well. Bye. Everybody. Okay, and really hope we don't get cut in the open here. That was a careless turn. There we go. He took it. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, the guy that was um, injured took smoke inhalation. Not a, not a big deal. Try to do an aim shot. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, this is your turn, big guy. Sappy. I'm gonna drop one on this guy. No points for that. Do a snapshot. So you can see what I mean about the um, the grenade launcher being, you know, borderline OP. But it is amazing. So the tank's gonna basically be a blocker. Oh, this guy could do it. Yeah, too. I guess we might as well, just to like. I don't want to lose the body. If, we're, if he's around next turn, he can do it. Okay, these guys, Rahul and everybody's getting a few more points to move, but everybody pull up here. Pull to here. That's it. And then there's this guy, Seppi. He's got to reload. This guy took a shot. Okay. That's about it. For, oh, Oh, that guy passed out. Can we do med on him? No, we can't. Ducks. Well, he's going to have to wake up on his own, I think. Oh, this guy. What's the story here? Okay, med kit. Let's go wake him up. Just to be nice. Okay, so nobody's come out yet. Let's work the tank around the back. Okay, nothing there. Still going to use the tank as a, a magnet. Bullet magnet. We're just going to push in this way and hope for the best here. This is a danger, a very dangerous place to be, like just in the middle of the room like this. It's it's bad news. Okay. I hope there's no proximity mines in there that I forgot about. That does happen, and it's horrific when it does. But it's it's part of the it's part of the XCOM experience is stepping on your own proximity mine. Like you just have to. Okay, stimulant. He's up. In. You can pick up your uh, next turn. I'll pick your gear up. I gotta get him out of the smoke. He's got smoke inhalation. Okay, let's pull. Um, let's pull a grenadier up. And this grenadier, yes, has to get closer. Well, he's in a good position to assault the door. So, yeah, looks looks clear. So let's move Roland up. Let's do it. Oh, whoa! Interesting. A little unnerving, actually. So we'll pull these guys up, and then I'm gonna bring the tank around here to make sure that nobody's in the in the rear here. I don't think they are, but you just never know. So here it comes, guys. Here comes the assault. And then, yeah, grenadier, not that useful in an assault, but hey, in fact, dangerous, I would say. And he doesn't have grenades either, so. Anyway, we'll rearm our grenadier here. Pull him out of the smoke so he can catch his breath. And this guy, Seppi. Uh, you know what? It's crazy. I said don't get attached, but I'm already a little bit attached to Seppi. Yeah. Uh, I just still know where this guy's mine is. It can't be over here, so let's go over this way. There's an unknown mine in the field somewhere. Oh. Talk about bad luck. He took that. 
No fatal wounds. No nothing. That's amazing. Wow. Talk about bad luck, eh? Okay. Shock into the face. And I think we're gonna have to wait because that's probably it. That's it, guys. First mission down. This is a new animation, at least, or it could be from PlayStation, but it wasn't in uh, the, the PC release. There we go, guys. So we took a landed craft with no damage to the interior. So power source, navigation, some alien alloys, Illyrium 115. There you go. Nod to Balbazar there. And uh, yeah, 11 aliens, guys. 11 aliens in a small. So that puts it in perspective. A couple promotions, a couple medals. Usually don't pay too much attention because everybody's going to die. The first thing you do when you get home, right, is go sell everything that you captured. So we got f only five floater corpses. That goes to show I blew up six floater corpses, unfortunately. So that's 60k in the, in the, the tank. The other thing you guys will notice is that um, hard mode expansion lowers the cost of everything. So, or sorry, it lowers the value of things that you would sell. So like all this loot, right? UFO power source in the stock game is 250. UFO navigation is 80. So it's divided by two. The corpses are 20 normally. So we picked up some gun, some weapons, a plasma blade. That's a new weapon that the aliens have. Plasma pistol, I'm gonna sell everything but one so we can research it, plasma rifle, plasma shotgun, that would be good. And the UFO power source will keep, I guess, um, so we can research it. That really wasn't a very big haul, you know? It's a little light considering we lost a couple of people. So let's check how many, how many did we lose? Um, oh, we only lost one. I can live with that, that's not too bad. Oh, we didn't even lose anybody. He was just wounded, eh? That's a really good first mission. Wow. Okay, so we'll put the rookies up at the front of the craft. That's always a good thing to do. Um, and make sure everybody's got armor. And there we go, guys. I mean, that's that's our first mission in the in the, in the dock there. So I feel pretty good about that. That was that was encouraging. It is the 13th of January already, so we haven't really um made that much progress. But nevertheless, um. A good start guys so let's save our game so it doesn't we don't lose it and and yeah so i'll catch up with you guys next time i hope you enjoyed it and uh take care see you then